Hey everyone, in the previous video I showcased my life-threatening problem of being unable to assign a value to this parameter of my function and skip this. You know, we should be able to skip it because it has a default value. It defaults to user. So if you want to skip something, all you have to do is call out the parameter by name by saying b underscore nice and assigning it the value false. So that's going to assign that one to here and this one here will remain user. So running this, it says, who do you think you are? And it does that because this gets evaluated. But just to confirm that name is working fine, we could say plus name, and we can just put a space right there. Running this, and it says, who do you think you are, user? So it is getting that default value still, and everything seems to be working fine. So this explains some things we may have seen when we do a print, for example, and we say, hey, and then we put a comma and a five, and then we say end equals. Well, the reason this works is because this is a named parameter. We have to invoke this one by name because the print function actually allows us to pass in an indefinite number of arguments. I really do wonder if there's a limit to the number of arguments. I don't really know the answer to that, however, I do know that I can go in here and I can put a lot of information separated by commas. And eventually I'm gonna to want to change the way this is spaced. So that's where the named parameter comes in and, and assign it a space. So it works. Well, let's get rid of that mind spam. And we're going to now talk about different types of arguments. It's very, very important to understand this stuff. So stay tuned for the next video.